Sure you're talking about my Callum? So it's parents evening again. I didn't go last year because he had COVID and I felt rotten. And it couldn't have come at a better time because I fucking hate going to parents evening. I really do. I mean, I, I, I just ate it. I ate it. I ate it. It's not just the teachers that I have to deal with. It's the other parents that go. I mean... I'm not a snob or anything, but I've got no interest in socialising with other mums. I just haven't. I mean, it's just not for me. I don't want to sit around comparing notes about my kids just like they don't want to sit around talking about me. I see them every bleeding day. I argue with them every bleeding day. I just don't want to be talking about them every bleeding day. I do enough with them. I thought to myself, I better go this time or when they get older, they start accusing me of neglecting them and I will abandon them and never took interest. No, no, I'm covering myself now. So that night, Callum started saying, I'm sick, I'm sick, and starts begging me not to go, which is weird because he was fine before. He didn't look sick to me. And even though I just didn't want to go, someone told me that I better go this time. I don't know what it was, call it mother's intuition, but I was drawn to go. Anywho, I get there, there's mums everywhere, all in the clicks, all having a natter, all getting the lowdown of this and that. There was hardly a dad in sight. It was just loads of women. Anyway, it went smoothly. It kind of looked like speed dating. I was going from table to table, each teacher of his subject telling me what it was like in class. It was actually all right, better than I expected. The usual, he's bright, easily distracted, but does his work, yada, yada, yada. But they all said this one thing, which I didn't really click about. They said that he needed to be more present. So I'm thinking, he's not always tuned in. He's easily distracted. Do you know, that's what I thought. So I finally gets to his form tutor and she goes, I've been wanting to speak to you for some time, Mrs. McCormack. So I said, all right, what about? She goes, I need to talk to you about Callum's absence. I said, you are? She goes, he's had a total of 20 days off in the last six months. I said, are you sure you're talking about my Callum? It's only had one day that I know of, and that was from food poison. Probably from your school, my I had, not my cooking. Hello. She goes, we've sent you letters. I says, I've not received any any letters at all, and that's a promise. She goes, well, if it continues, there's gonna be fines issued, and you're even gonna go to court. I was livid, the little shite, no wonder he didn't want me to go. I marched home. I could not believe my ears. When I got in, it was hiding in the bathroom because it's the only door with a lock on it. So I go straight up them stairs, I bang on that door, I like, open this door now. He won't open it. I said, your teacher told me you've been wagging it. 20 days in six months, are you having a laugh? I says, I send you off to school every morning. I'm running around like a blue ass fire trying to find your shoes and you're not even going in. I said, open this door now. He goes, you're gonna whip me. I says, I'm not gonna whip ya. I don't know where he's got that from. I said, why are you not going in? And he goes, it's because of Mr. Pollard. And I said, who? Mr. Pollard, my English teacher. I'm only skipping the classes that he does. I thought, I don't remember no Mr. Pollard. He wasn't there last night. I spoke to someone else, Mrs. Delfino or something. But apparently, that's his standing. So what's the problem with him? He goes, he keeps shouting at me. He keeps calling me dumb and calling me a sissy boy in front of all the class. I says, what? I says, you better not be lying, Callum. He goes, I swear down, honestly. I said, what's he calling you? A sissy boy, I said, in front of the class. Right, listen, I know most of them teachers do a great job in there, but there's always that one teacher who's a bully. I know, I've had one. Power of authority goes right to their head, doesn't it? But I tell you what, I'm going into that school tomorrow to speak to that twat. But you're still grounded for lying to me. I could have got a bleeding fine or even gone to court or even gone to prison. But no wonder he wasn't there. He's doing it to him, he's doing it to someone else. Let's see if he bullies me tomorrow.